know we've been in a series these past few weeks entitled Get Over It. We're in week three of that series, and I don't know if you've been here each week, but in week number one, we talked about our feelings of inadequacy, how we need to get over those feelings of inadequacy. In week number two, we talked about getting over our need to control, our control issues. So last week, we kind of dove into allowing God to have the control that he desires in our life. Uh, next week, going to be a great one next week, we're going to talk about uh, the addiction, I think you would call it, the addiction that many people have for approval from other people. Uh, you might call it codependency. There's a lot of different ways to talk about it, but we're going to talk about that and how we can be set free from our need for the approval of other people. And for some people, that is a real bondage issue. Today, we're going to talk about how we can and why we should get over our right to be offended. And this is going to be so much fun this morning because we do live in a world where people have a problem with this, this idea that I live constantly uh, being offended. I think so many people, they, they kind of live in this, in this sense of I'm always offended at something. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what it might be for you. I, I know, you know, cat people have this problem. <laughs> I, every, every week, I told you, you shouldn't sit down front, Pat. I, every week, you know, I share one of my stupid remarks about cats. And then every week I have to apologize for the offense that I cause. And I promise I won't do that anymore, at least for a few minutes anyway, but how, you know what I'm talking about? Some people always offended about something. I, I tell you, some people really do get offended with my cat. I had, a, I'm just going to tell you this. I, uh, we, we left the church. I won't tell you which one. And I remember as we were, as we were, had resigned and we were in, in the line, as people were filing by, one dear saint came up to me and she goes, Pastor Greg, you could have stayed longer if you were nicer to cats. <laughs> and I'm like, she took me seriously, all these. <laughs> anyway, huge distraction there this morning. So anyway, maybe some of you, you can relate. You know what I'm talking about. There are those who are constantly hurt. Maybe they're always feeling persecuted, always feeling victimized over something. And, and oftentimes, it's by some of the smallest and most insignificant things. You know, it, it almost seems that in our world today, in our culture today, if you're kind of paying attention to what we see, what we observe in our world today, you know, we have a lot of freedoms in this country that are given to us in the Constitution. We talk about those freedoms that we have, and thank God for many of those freedoms that we have. But there's a, there's a, it almost seems like the value has been shifted from some of those traditional freedoms to the, really the greatest and most precious freedom for so many is this freedom from being offended. The freedom from being offended. And, and really this is taking us to a bad place because the reality is we live in a sinful world and, and it's a world that's far from perfect. We all know that. It is a world where life is not fair. Uh, where, where bad things happen and, you'll, and, 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 and you're dealing with imperfect people and there's no way that you'll ever live an offended, free life. Again, maybe some can relate. I know I can. I, there have been times in my life, maybe it's because of things that I'm going through that I've just been hypersensitive. Have you ever been that way? Just hypersensitive and, 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 and you're offended about everything. And, and I know some of you have no idea and I'm just going to tell you, for those of you that don't ever get offended, you just sit there this morning and you polish your halo and you don't have to pay attention because I know you're perfect. But for the rest of you, would you kind of tune in this morning as we talk about giving up our right to be Offended. So what's the root cause of this? What's the root cause of this? Well, I, I suppose one of the primary reasons that we can be uh, easily offended is because we have bought into this idea that, again, is kind of prevalent in our culture today, that everything revolves around me. We live in a very me-centered 